Hey, my name is Unknown. I'll be showing you how to um, make a um, make a make a speak program in Visual Basic 2008. We'll be using um SAPI application to make the to make the program speak. Um, okay. Um, open up Visual Basic 2008. Then go to File, <coughs> New Object. Then um, you want to use Windows Form application. Um, name it Speak. Or actually, name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it Speak. Okay, press OK. Come with your um, your form one, and then you wanna um, make a text box and two buttons. Text box. Button. Button. Second. Alright. So name one speak. Whoops. Name one speak and name one um close. So speak and close. By the way, I did that from where you just click once on the button and there's text and then you just change that from like button one to whatever you want to name it. I named it speak one and one is close and um okay um let's get to the codings click twice on the speak button but before we want um we want we want to like tell tell text box one to speak when we click the speak button you want to dim SAPI you want to you want to um, tell it what SAPI is if you just talk about SAPI it won't understand it so um so start with dimming it. Dimming it pretty much um, the curve was the variable, the value of it. So you want to do dim S A P I, and you want to dim that and below public class form one. And we're um, I'm gonna start to the codings now. And um, for the speak button, you want to do S A P I equal create object um <coughs> um parentheses quotation sapi dot sp voice quotation parentheses then you want to do sapi dot speak text box one dot text and <coughs> what this tells it to do is Whatever is on text box one dot text, which is the text box that is written in there, when you click the speak button, it will speak. We'll use the SAPI application. Um, of course. Uh, also, the SAPI also stands for uh, Speech Application Program Interference inter Interface. Whoops, interface. So, pretty much just tells it to speak when you hit the speak button or whatever you want to call that button now go back to your form one click on close and this is really simple it's just me dot close and just me tells the pro me prefers to like the program and then dot close just closes the program so and um let's debug here and then just type in whatever you want. I'm just going to type in hello then speak and then it should speak hello and then when you click the close button closes your program and that's it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and subscribe and thank you for watching.